No, I can't allow this. What, you can't do this? What are you thinking? You're going to risk having yet a second baby with your own brother? Eve, dear, your slip is showing. Mother? Eve. What are you saying? Are you saying that I'm really the father of Whitney's baby? What happened? Well, uh, Chad was pressing Whitney to consider his idea of a future together when Eve couldn't take it anymore. She erupted and she, she, uh, misspoke. How so? My mother just said that Whitney couldn't be with me because she couldn't risk having a second baby with her own brother. What? You know, it sounds like Eve is saying that I really am the father of Whitney's baby. Oh, my God. <sighs> Bloody hell. I really wanted that cup of coffee. <sighs> oh, thank you, my darling. Excuse me. It's not true, right? Is Chad the father of your baby? Fox, Chad, please, just relax. Eve simply misspoke. Are you sure? Well, yeah, she was understandably upset because Chad kept saying that he and Whitney should be together. Chad, stop asking Whitney to live with you, okay? It's weird. No, never mind that right now. I want to know what my mother meant. Yes, I misspoke. I didn't mean to, <laughs> to say that Whitney shouldn't risk having a second baby with Chad. I didn't want to imply that Chad was this baby's father. I just meant that Whitney shouldn't take the chance of having a second baby with Chad because it would be horrible. Oh, it would be ghastly. And as everyone knows who was at the hospital, I already told you that Fox is Whitney's baby, mm. his father. And Eve wouldn't lie about that, now would she? Hmm? Yeah, I'm sure Tabitha's right. All this crazy talk from you has everybody reeling here. I'm sure that's why that you uh, <clears throat> misspoke, right? Exactly. The hell's the matter with you, huh? You still want to be with your sister? You know, it's not just me. Whitney wants to be with me, too. <laughs> <laughs> Ask her if you don't believe me. Yeah, I think I will. So we need to talk. Um, you know what, if I could just have a minute to myself, tonight has been so stressful, okay? For the last time, son, living together with your sister as a couple is wrong. We'd be platonic. Well, initially, perhaps, but as Father Lonergan said, eventually the desire to be together as a man and a woman would win out. Father Lonergan is celibate. I will be, too. Father Lonergan is not in love with a woman, Chad. You are your sister, and it's wrong. Now, what's wrong is being kept away from the woman I love by people who don't understand that Whitney is the one who's in love with me.